morning. Almost running on a lot of supplies. Why can't you buy? I'm the fastest man in the Nobody likes this stupid. Jam was crossed. Gordon, why do you keep complaining all the time? Because I'm a big express man and I can do whatever I want. I can complain whatever I want. I'm the fastest on the on solar, and you're the, just a red engine at the other part of the station. Idea. I can't see any. What? Any what? Ideas about the station? Well, once day, I can show you what a big engine, just a big engine can do. So what else can a big engine can do? Not listen to to tell you the green engines where it starts and it pushes away. Bossy boiler, sit bossy. Okay, and he went back to work. Thomas was being clean, I'm going to He was still boasting. I'm the finest engine on so the fact controller says I'm the finest engine on so far. I should be I'm taking, I'm taking the express. Rubbish! Said Thomas. We're all fine. We're all really useful. And we're all fine. <sighs> so on. And he passed away. Later that evening, far from the whole island. And soon the docks is packed with waiting freight cars. So Top of Hat came, he was in a big hurry. And we Thomas and Percy sit the You must go to the you must go to work immediately. I must and you, and you must send trucks right now. Yes, sir! The whistles and the engines whistled. And they all set off. Then the fat controller turned to the big blue engine. Gordon, you need to collect some trucks where they won't be in the way. Trucks! said Gordon. And he puffed away to collect the trucks. Later, Gordon came into the big yard to collect his train. Gordon was not happy to be playing the trucks. He waited for him to leave, while Duck went to the trucks to the position. Why the rush, Gordon? asked Thomas. If, if I want to show Duck how to build trucks, I should be ignoring the signs. You better look out, Gordon. You don't want to get too big for your buffers. Pa! What's this? Educa educational Gone Day? First James, now you duck. What is going on? Well, you don't want to get too big for your buffers, asked Thomas. That's why.
express bench. I don't go slow. fly by. Whistle long and loud as he approached the station. Then the news comes. As the approached the station, and the driver or fireman come to apply the brakes. And it jammed. Oh no! No one was hurt, but Gordon felt really undignified. What will the fat controller say? He groaned. Gordon's driver went for help. The fat controller was just answering the call. James, Thomas, and Percy will bring the breakdown cranes early in the morning. James, Thomas, Percy, and James are our little breakdown train. Beep, beep. Hello, Gordon. First, he couldn't help but laugh. You look just like a red engine. Fox James looked at him. It seems that you have got too much, need too much jam to put a bit. Looks like you got too much to popped up in your boiler. I guess we need some ice. Gordon, a bar a baron's Gordon was very a Gordon was so sad, and he let out a sad wish of steam. Gordon was finally called out. The fat controller arrived. Well, Gordon, said the fat controller, you wanted to show James, Thomas, and Percy a thing or two, and you certainly thought that the accident was your fault. It was just the trucks who pushed you, and it was those, and, and it was those squeaky wheels 
they, they jammed. So sorry, sir. So cool. I shouldn't have listened to the the, the Duck and Henry's advice. I'm not going to be scrapped. Please don't take me away, sir. I'll be good. Don't worry. We put we put it back on the rails. Alright. And you're going to be repaired and have a new coat of paint. Gordon was excited. He felt sorry for The wood. Let's push you now. We're gonna get you clean. Mm -hmm. One was soon repaired and back to work. But he was but he was very unhappy of himself. Everyone makes mistakes, said Thomas. Even Percy, said James. We all make mistakes. We're, we started with tea, we teased you, said Thomas. And I was. Uh, we're sorry we teased you. But I'm sorry it was too big for us. And everyone gave a jelly goose.